Good girl. Here at Michigan State, we work a lot with honeybee bacterial diseases and other pests that affect honeybees. One of the projects we're excited about is working with Maple, who we are training to detect for the honeybee disease American Fall Brood. It's pretty much the same across the board, whether you're training our narcotics dog or explosives dog. You take the target odor, you present it to them, and, and through a series of kind of systematic and repetitive training, the dog starts to l learn to correlate the odor, the target odor, with something good is going to happen. Much like with humans, uh, we recognize that if a dog is going to be in an active bee yard, they need to wear the same uh, personal protective equipment as people do. Um, and so that is a bee suit. Um, you can't buy them on Amazon for dogs. Um, and so there's been some um, altering and, and testing. So I know a lot of people are always concerned about, about heat and her getting hot. If it's hot outside, we don't work. Our goal is to work with Maple, have her trained up, but really to video and document the whole process and working with Sue to write it up into a book so that other people can use our journey with Maple to train their own dogs to do American fall brood detection or other honeybee disease detection. It's a cool project, but I was over the moon excited because my dog would still have joy in her life and would still be able to, to work 